like this show and want to make your own, let me tell you about Anchor. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Now you can even add any song from Spotify directly to your episode. The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show, or something the world's never heard before. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free app or go to anchor.fm to get started. to God Clutter Get Organized, a podcast that focuses on helping you create space to attract more money, love, and happiness in your life. I am your host, Janet M. Taylor, and I want to say hello if you're a regular listener, and welcome if you're listening for the very first time. I hope you are having a great start to your week, and if you're enjoying listening to this podcast, please leave a review so I can continue bringing you episodes each and every week. Well, in this episode, I am joined by Gabrielle Garrett, a successful author, journalist, speaker, and teacher, and she's going to share strategies on how we can get ideal clients. I will also be sharing my product suggestion, app suggestion, repurpose suggestion, as well as my book suggestion for this week. And my question for you this week is, what gift do you bring to this world? Everybody has a gift. Some people have the gift of motherhood. Some people have the gift of being sociologists or psychologists. Some people have the gift of being coaches. I know I have the gift of bringing organization to this world. So what is your gift? The average annual rate of business failure from 2016 to 2020 for companies started in 2015 stands at 12.8%. In other words... Of the remaining surviving businesses that started in 2015, 12.86% more of them failed each year. There were nearly 13 million women-owned businesses in the U.S. as 2019, which is why I wanted to bring Gabrielle, who also is known as Gabby Garrett. She is an award-winning journalist who has been published over 500 times. Gabby's piece on business clarity was ranked top five of 2020 by entrepreneur.com and read 400,000 times in the first week it was published. Her articles have covered some of the biggest names in business from executives to Google to million dollar listing Ryan Sherhart. Her name has become synonymous with success. Gabby now spends her time coaching women on 90-day success plans, directing insane media campaigns for some of the biggest founders and products in the world, and writing for several different outlets. Gabby is passionate about women and power and development of leadership and entrepreneurs. She speaks on organizations and confidence and messaging around the world and is currently working with incredible brands such as Lily Pulser, Ariane, Draper James, Lila Cosmetics, Funchuna Skin, and APL to name a few. And I probably missed all those up. But I want you to get your pen, your paper, your tablet and begin to take some notes because Gabby is going to be sharing with us how we can get that ideal client. Well, listeners, I'm excited because I have Gabby Garrett, and she's going to share with us how to organize ourselves so we can manifest the ideal client. I am so excited. I was doing my own little countdown. I'm like, yes, yes, Gabby's coming soon. So, Gabby, (laughs) welcome. Thanks so much, Janet. I'm excited to be here. This is one of my favorite things to (laughs) teach. So, before we get started on all the different strategies, et cetera, I want you to share your journey of the cube land going from cube land and finding depression to actually where you are now, because I just thought that was so fascinating. 
Thank you. So when I was working in a cubicle, um, I was just really struggling. There was no, I think what really stuck out was there was no way to control my future. And none of us can control our future. I know that, unfortunately. But like there was no forward movement. And as someone who is self-improvement driven, it was exhausting me and suffocating me. So when I created my own business, what I loved is there is no ceiling. So I was able to scale my business to seven figures last year. Now I scaled it too far. I busted through the ceiling. <laughs> so I went a little wild, but I learned a lot. So um, I find that the cure for depression is to move. And, and I'm not a doctor, but for me, because I, I tend to get in that state when I'm not helping the world and when I'm not moving forward. So that's kind of, that's kind of what happened there. Oh, wow. So Gabby, what are some of the things that we do that sabotages us, man, you know, really attracting that ideal client? Like are there habits or things that we just repeatedly do that kind of just yeah. blocks that ideal client from coming, you know, into our lives? Great question. I have, let's go with, I'll, I'll go and see, I don't know how many I have, but the first thing you do is you, when you're trying to manifest something, you have to, you have to get specific. There are a lot of really hippie teachers out there that are like, anti-spreadsheet and as business women and as confident leaders we need to know what our business and life costs so you want to map out your core cost your a little bit better than core costs like maybe you got a housekeeper once a week and then you got grocery delivery and then you want to map out your like this is so much money like i could i would never be worried again cost and then one thing we do when we sabotage ourselves is we'll have a client meeting and we'll try to get that client to pay for everything we'll try to be like this is it and so we try to make a sweet, innocent woman who maybe has like, you know, like a thousand dollars become our $12,000 client. And then we get upset when it doesn't work. Wow. That's good. Wow. You know, I never yeah. thought about that. I mean, I am a spreadsheet person, but you are right. It's like you, it's like kind of your eyes get those little stars in them and it's like, yes, this is it. So yeah. wow, that, that is interesting. That is so interesting. So I guess, how do we change that habit? Because I mean, I think some of us, you know, even sometimes you see the email, you get the phone call, yeah. you're thinking, okay, this is it. Let me yeah. pack the bags. I'm ready to move to the new location. <laughs> yeah. So one thing, you, yeah, one thing you have to do is take away your money. Imagine you already have the money um, for the house, for your bills. And sometimes we need money. Like I've been in situations many times where it's not a want, it's a need. And so you have to kind of take that out. And you want to ask yourself, if I had a hundred thousand dollars in the bank, what would I charge this person? Because then I wouldn't be like, Hey, pay for my whole existence because they can feel that. And then you want to say like, is this really going to help them? So you want to get out of your uh, scarcity mindset and into your heart and then say like, you know, this is the price where I'm going to show up best. And this or something better. You know, you can have six clients that pay for your experience that you're really serving deeply instead of one that you feel like you have to like run around for and do so many things for because without them, you go kaput again. Uh, see, that is, that is so true. I mean, you, I could feel it because, you know, there have been times when, you know, in the beginning, it was mm -hmm. like, okay, this is what I need to charge. This is this client. But I'm finding lately that I come to the table knowing my worth, which is really yeah. good. And just knowing that, you know what? I've already, like you said, that mindset of not that scarcity mindset, but more of abundant mindset. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're able to serve clients better. And like you, 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 you preach, you're also able to attract those clients who are willing to pay what you charge because they know oh yeah this is this is the person i need for the project or the job so you're right about that oh well yeah. i saw my i saw myself it was like yeah i, I, was, oh. there. I was there you know and i can share this with you listeners and you because like i do this all the time like that's how we learn but imagine this like another way we sabotage ourselves is we get four people in our pipeline and we obsess over them so amount, and this is something I do all the time. It's something I'm doing right now. And that's why I'm sharing this. Thank you for talking through me, God, universe, because I need to hear this. But like, imagine you were going to have a dinner party on Friday or you wanted to have a friend over for lunch on Wednesday. And you were like, okay, I have four friends. I have, I have Janet, I have Thomas, I have Chris, I have Gabby. 
one of them is going to call me. One of them is going to call me. And so you start blowing up their phone or texting them or Instagramming them. Like, are you coming to dinner? Are you coming to dinner? Are you coming to dinner? But all the while, the universe is sending people that are walking by your house nonstop. But you're so obsessed with the four people you know that you don't notice that there are 12 people in your neighborhood who you might want to have lunch with. Wow. And that is so true. It's like things are right underneath your nose. I mean, and I'm learning how when you show up and do your best, like you said, things will be open up to you because the other day I was at a client site and, you know, I'm in the midst of a project for her. So I'm not finished, but she's on the phone talking. Oh, yeah. If you ever need anybody to do such and such. And then I get a text from her. Oh, yeah, Janet, um, I need you to help me with my son. And I'm thinking, you know what? Wait a minute. All of that stuff, of you, like you said, you're constantly doing all the promoting and this, that, and the other. And sometimes it's like you just need to be still and everything will just kind of work out wow that is so good yeah. Yeah, you're right you're right yeah you're right it's sometimes another way we sabotage ourselves is before the gift or the miracle can arrive we move because it looks like it's not working but like in the physical world maybe it's not but in the like you know man like metaphysical world it's coming together and so we start to talk negatively about ourselves and then we become not a match Oh my goodness, Kathy, that is so true because at the beginning of the pandemic, you know, like March when it was like everybody was just canceling, shutting down, we were all shut in. It was interesting. I went in with a piece. It was like, you know what? I've always been taken care of. I always will be taken care of. I'm okay. And now a year later, I'm looking back and I'm amazed because, you know, a lot of my colleagues, you know, they weren't able to pivot. But it was like stuff just kept coming and coming and coming. So you're right. When you're just like a piece, it's like, okay. Because in that anxious and, and nervous, you block things. And then sometimes you don't even see sometimes, like you said, what's right in front of you. Yeah. And we all do this because we're scared and because we want to be performers and we're high performers and we feel like it's necessary. And I do this too. And so one of the things that is just, you know, if it, if it feels not true, because when I see women be like, don't chase attract, it frustrates me because I'm like, but what if you need to chase? Like, what if your bills are due Friday? Like, why are you telling women to sit on their couch and put on mascara? Like that type of message is like, really, really not my vibe. <laughs> I can, yeah. Sometimes you're right. You do have, you do have to chase. And, yeah. and I think it's, and it's, and I think sometimes it's the way you chase. You yeah. know, because, you know, for me, a lot of times the chase may be, I know it's seasonal things that certain clients see, and I just may send them a text or send them an email. They be like, yeah, Janet, I need it. I need it right now. So you're right. Sometimes you do have to. I mean, that bill is due and, you know, you need that money. So I love that. I love that. Yeah. It's like sitting yeah. on the couch. No, that's not. Yeah. Like you said, you got to make things happen. You got to make things happen. You do. Um, and I think as women will just one more thing to add about that. Like we're taught, like, you know, in this, the coaching industry and online, like you, sometimes you have to ask yourself because the business is mostly a masculine activity and creativity is feminine. But if you were a man and the rent was due Friday, what would you do? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know, and I do have these conversations with friends. I said, you know, sometimes yes, we're women, but we also have to sometimes operate in that masculine area and say, okay, what would, and like, you just go after, because like you said, they just go after things. They have no fear. Yep. They go after it. Hey, you know, this is business. So you're right about that. I'm loving this conversation. So, <laughs> um, so we've talked about things that sabotage. So are there things that maybe, maybe a couple things that we really should just kind of zero in on because, you know, right now we're at, hard to believe we're at the almost the end of the year yeah, it's crazy. um and you know i think a lot of people at the beginning of the year they weren't sure so then the middle of the year they're like okay i'm getting the momentum so what are some things maybe at the end of the year or they can implement in the beginning of the year that really attract those clients that they want to work with yes so first figure out do what i said before so figure out your lowest number that you can live on and make sure you have all of your bills your groceries and your skincare products. Like, I don't mean bare minimum. I mean, like if you're not buying any new clothes or you're not going out with friends, what does that cost? And then do the clothes, 
the facial, the cleaning people and friends, and then do like this many house projects, this many wardrobes, have three numbers, and then act like a man until you're supported. Act like a man until you're supported. So go out there and get the business. You can attract, you can chase, you can manifest, you can tap, like, but don't let a woman who already has the stability tell you how to attract because you have to act like a man until you have the stability. So what I would spend your time doing is close business for six months. Like then you can sit on the couch and attract a wait list because you're safe. But until you are, so do everything you can to get safe for as long as possible. That's what I would do. And you know, I liked it. And the people don't always tell us that because it gives you that, like, for example, one of the things that I believe in, and that's just because of working with government gov on government contracts, is I always mm -hmm. like to, when I started that, I always like to be at least 30 days ahead with everything. My bill. But now I'm like, I need to be three months and I'm working yeah. to six months so that that kind of gives me that that peace that and that comfort that I need. But also, it still gives me that energy of like, okay, what what do I need to work on? And I love your tip on the three numbers. That is so good because that's actually what I did for myself, Gabby. I had my lowest, lowest, lowest. But then, of course, you know, I like to treat myself to spa yeah. days and yeah. you know, and you know, a lunch here and there with a friend and or even just like you know, dinner. Like, okay, I don't feel like cooking, so let's see. Let me start planning and having a couple of meals delivered to me. You know, that's that little lux life that. I I want to leave. Yes, you so, want to be at the left side. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I like that. I I really love these 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 tips. And I, of course, listeners, you can always listen to this over and over again. But of course, I'm gonna give you Gabby's link so you can just you know connect with her directly. So Gabby, and all that you do, you know, for your clients and you know your your family and everything. How do you stay organized? Like, what are a couple of things that you do just to kind of stay on top of everything? Because, you know, being a coach and a journalist and a speaker, you know, that takes a lot. But what do you do just to kind of keep those things, you know, in order? Yeah, great question. So I have a Trello board and I have all of my clients in one column and my projects. And then I have it separated in cards for my household projects, my writing projects, my client projects. When I'm really busy and I'm in my like biggest season, I will break out one day for each project. And that way my brain doesn't scramble as fast. And when I'm not really busy, I will section it out. So I'll be like, okay, I'm doing house stuff this hour, client stuff this hour. Um, but I like to map out the week on a whiteboard and then break it down into days in my planner. See, we're like my, we're like my guys. <laughs> Cause I do the same thing because I took a seven week course on podcasting. And so what I did was like every weekend after that for about an hour, I really focused in on each of those subject matters just so I can perfect my skill. And like you, I like to kind of section things out, whether it's a project for business or even if it's home stuff as well. You know, you know, the closet, my closet's got to get organized sometimes. So who else is going to do it? <laughs> so, right, yeah. So, so yeah, so that is really great. Well, you know, Gabby, I have enjoyed this conversation and I hope that we can, you know, talk at a future date as well. But how can listeners get in contact with you in regards to just working with you? Sure. So if you go to GabrielleGarrett.com, I actually have a course that's perfect for this conversation. It's called From Overwhelm to Overflow. Uh, it's six modules. It's $297. But if you use code GG Mag GG Magic 15, you can save 15% for your listeners. And um, that brings it down to like 240 or 220. But it's awesome. It's six modules and it goes through everything you want to bring into your life what might be blocking you. And then it goes through the energetics of moving those things out of the way. Mm. And of course, listeners, I will have a direct link to um, Gabby's website, but I'll also put a link in here for this course as well. So Gabby, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule just to be with the listeners. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure and I look forward to connecting again soon. Same here. And again, I will be sharing all of Gabby's links in the podcast show page. So now let's move on to Taylor's tip time. 
And I just want to share with you a few tips on how you can be an organized business owner, you know, taking all the wisdom and, and strategies that Gabby shared. Of course, number one, you want to definitely set some goals as to what you want to achieve. Number two, making sure you schedule. Schedule those days to do those things like marketing. Making sure not only you schedule those days, but also use all the different platforms and apps that are available for us. I use Buffer. I've used Hootsuite. Use one of those specifically when it comes to social media, but also your emails as well. Number four, review results and revise plans. So whether you want to do it um, weekly or every 30 days, just kind of look and see what has been successful and what is not, and then what tweaks you need to make, and five, celebrate your success. Well, are you ready to live an organized life? Have you been working on getting organized and feel that you need someone to guide you from start to finish by providing you with details needed to clear the clutter and get organized? Then let's talk so I can share how you can get back on track and get organized with my virtual sessions. Just go to my contact page, www.JanetMTaylor.com. You know, schedule a 15-minute session so we can talk and then, you know, see how we can work together. I love working with clients virtually. Or maybe you are at a place where, you know, Janet, I'm pretty organized, but I'm just feeling overwhelmed. I can't manage all this going on at work. I've got a business, my life. I feel like I'm burnt out. I'm stressed. So let me work with you and create a life so you can have time to do all the things you want to do without feeling overwhelmed. So on the show page, it's called Strategize and Organize. And I'd love the opportunity to help you um, live a more organized and balanced life. Well, of course, I always want to take a moment to thank you for following me on social media, for your likes, your retweets, for your sharing. Please follow me on all my social media platforms, so whichever one you love, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, I'm even on Pinterest as well. Check out all my boards. And of course, I'm on YouTube also. And for all of you ladies listening, if you are thinking of getting life organized, don't get overwhelmed. Join me on my Facebook group, Living Life Totally Organized. It's a community of women supporting each other on their their journey to living a life that is totally organized. It's free. And um, last month, I had a QA. and a So I'm looking forward to the next one. And now we come to that moment where you can take a moment, take a deep breath, and do you, I can hear you chanting because you know what time it is. It is Toss It Tuesday time. And this Toss of Tuesday, I want you to really look around your office and your home and your space and get rid of all the dated marketing materials. Maybe you've changed emails, phone numbers, addresses. Um, You know, I recently, of course, a lot of you know, I had to change my Instagram handle. So all of that. So just kind of get rid of it. Let it go. My app suggestion for you this week, as I mentioned earlier, you know, use an, a platform that will help you schedule your social media. Buffer, Hootsuite, and I know there's more. And my um, Amazon shop, I have all kinds of products available so you can have a functional office. You know, maybe you just need a safe to, to hold your important documents. Maybe you need a filing cabinet. Maybe you need a desk. Maybe some letter trays. Whatever it is, the Amazon shop has it for you. And if you don't find it there, you let me know. And of course, on my Pinterest page, I have a board specifically. If you want to repurpose things throughout your home for your office, maybe, you know, there's a, a, a piece, a, a, a decorative piece or something that means a lot to you and how you can incorporate it in your office. My book selection for you this week is Crushing It. How Great Entrepreneurs Build Their Business and Influence and How You Can Too. Again, Crushing It, How Great Entrepreneurs Build Their Business and Influence and How You Can Too. It's by Gary Vanderchuk or Gary V. He's excellent. You need to watch his YouTube videos as well. And of course, my book for this week is Action is the Foundational Key to All Success. Pablo Picasso. 
Action is a foundational key to all success. So you just got to, I told a friend one time, she was trying to think, she's Janet, you know, we were all just kind of giving her words of encouragement. And she was like, do you have any words, anything to say, Janet? I said, do it afraid. So action. So I definitely want to thank you for listening. Be sure to share this podcast with your family, your friends, and on your social media network. And again, let me know you're enjoying listening to this podcast by leaving a review. And be sure to visit my website at JanetMTaylor.com. And until next time, I want you to have a clutter-free day. But most of all, have an organized week. Organization is the quintessential element of a clutter-free life. Join me as we take this journey together. Along the way, we will find the necessary answers to your organizing dilemmas. My name is Janet M. Taylor, and you are listening to Got Clutter? Get Organized. <music>